What's going on my guys? How's it going and welcome on back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We're jumping straight in with our engineer today because it's good old reliable. Technogenic Society have the extra speed boost this week so I thought why not give it a go. It's good old reliable guys. It's what I used to use all the time. I'm Max Engineer. I love it so one of the best free to play units in the game. So let's see how we're going to be able to get set up today. Let's hope that we can get three engineers on the board. Try and get some swords on them. Try and get them to the 10 and then get up to the 10 engineers. Try and get that connection going and get looking strong how are you all doing though what are you using down in the comments below what are you using in game down in the comments down below that's a bit of a tongue twister guys but let me know down below what you are using in game is it going to be engineer is it going to be any of the other technogenic units could it be alchemist i'm coming up against the max alchemist and at least a level 13 sharpshooter there as well my guys so a very interesting deck coming from my friend over there he's got no defense drops so we're going to be able to see how we do play up against him hopefully we can get set up nicely hopefully we're going to be able to get rid of both of our trappers up there in the corner for a nice engineer or a nice sword so we can get a nice sword copy without merge to harley quinn my guys another trapper there is a bit unfortunate but we'll be able to get rid of it at some point don't you worry what have you all been up to this week though my guys are you all having a good time at work are you not on work are you on holiday are you at school let me know i want to get chatting i want to get talking you can come over and join the discord you can come over and join the clan anything you want to do we can make it happen guys i've got my skydiving video coming out in a couple of days i can't wait for you all to see that and i've got something something i don't really want to say too much about that i'm working on and that's going to be coming out shortly so i am very very excited to see that or show that to you as well so we've nearly got a full board now we haven't got many blue swords in all honesty but we've got some nice engineers we've merged up for another engineer there as well so we can't really complain about that and gorgon coming out in about five seconds isn't going to be doing anything to us my guys nothing at all getting merged up there for the extra four percent damage because of our amulet as well that's what we like to see we'll probably rock our jake paul my guys and for some reason it didn't go down I don't know how many times I tried to click that then, but oh well, we are taking him out no problem at all, so we didn't really need him. And we do merge up there for the merge 2 trapper, but we are at that 8% increase now, which isn't too bad. But we do have a merge 3 engineer on one of our green tiles, so we're not going to be merging him up anymore. So we're not going to be using that tile anymore, which is a bit unfortunate. Hopefully still going to be using the other two. Get rid of that trapper, get rid of them swords. Coming in with another Harley there, so we're going to be keeping the trapper for now, but we do have a lot more blue swords on the board, so... Let's see what we can do. 4, 2, 2. My trapper seems to be doing better than any of my engineers right now, but we're going to keep it going. We're going to try and get to that 10, and as soon as we do get to them 10 swords, you're going to be able to see the damage that we are capable of. We all know how strong engineer is anyway, my guys. We all know how strong it is. It's insanely strong. All you need to do is get them connections, which we are struggling to get right now, but we don't want to overload on engineers too early on, even though my guy is knocking me out. He's putting to putting me to sleep we need to be making sure that our units are doing the most amount of damage that we can ensure they are doing my guys because look at him he's knocking me out he's putting me to sleep my shields are going here there everywhere left right and center if i didn't have my engineer shields coming back every which way i do merge i would be screwed magoo so it's a good job we're getting them parts flying around left right and center and there goes our last shield so we need to drop another engineer though so that we can try and regain our shields so that we're not getting knocked out too much hopefully but you can see that we're keeping our ball back pretty nicely now. We've got some nice high merge engineers. We've just got that first connection there. Our max talent is kicking in plenty of times. You can hear it kicking in all of the time, which is exactly what we like to see. With only a 10% chance as well, we're doing the business. Doing the absolute business. Bedlam can be doing nothing, even though my Jake Paul went down a little bit early. But like I said, nothing. Nothing at all, my guys. The absolute destruction of my guy engineer over here. He's going to be taking out the most meta of decks. Even though this isn't particularly a meta deck, but it is very fun to see someone using that's not a meta deck. Summit difference at Inquisitor, Cultist, Robot. It's nice to see someone using Max Alchemist for a change. You never know how he's going to be able to set up, guys. That extra crit from that Max Alchemist could be absolutely insane. It could be a very similar story to how the engineer performs. Because he does that, that, that extra critical chance at the 13 talent. Or he gets the max optimization at the 13 talent, so he's doing the max amount of damage that he can do once you get him into them 10 connections. 
So we're going to keep going, my guys. We've just got a blue one that has got the ability on it as well. Talking about the swords there, my guys. We've got the Awakened Sword. So he's going to be spewing swords out every 15 seconds. He's going to be levelling my units up every which way we wanted to. And guys, the boost has been kicking them absolutely loads. I've got one, two, three Merge 4s, a Merge 5. I don't remember putting any of them drives on them. Absolute insanity, my guys. Absolute insanity. And we're still not even up to the 10 connections yet. As soon as we do get them 10 connections, we'll have that optimized talent kick in, that optimization talent, and we're going to be doing the absolute business. Another one there with the ability on it. Another awakened sword. But we're probably going to be getting rid of that one at some point because our board is getting a little bit full right now. But we're taking things out ever so quickly. Taking them out before my guy over there. But he's still doing quite well for his. He's not getting taken out too bad at the minute. To be fair, to be fair to my guy, I haven't seen Max Alchemist Sharpshooter ever before. And he's actually keeping his waves back pretty nicely, so fair play to him, fair play to him. Getting ourselves another Merge 5 Engineer then. We did have the Merge 4 Trapper, my guys, the Merge 4 Dryad. So we're basically just wanting to level up our Engineers as much as possible, is what I was trying to say there. I went the long way around it, but I got there, my guys, I got there. I basically said that I didn't want to level up the trapper with my driver because I had the engineers and that's what I want to be making look gorgeous, baby. But we've got the 10 now. We've probably got more than the 10. We've got 5 on that middle, 3 on the bottom, 3 on the top. So that does give us 11. So maybe if we do get merged up for another one, once we do get rid of this trapper, we'll maybe get rid of a couple of the merged ones. We might be able to merge onto that increased damage tile and just keep increasing our damage, my guys. But you can see that Jake Paul's doing the work for us as well. He's doing that massive crit when he comes down, keeping them monsters back or keeping the boss back in my case because that's when I tend to be using him. But let's just see how quick we take this virus out. Boom! 200k there. I don't know if that was my engineer or my Jake Paul. But it was taken out so, so quickly, he didn't know what hit him, my guys. And obviously we were able to get rid of that virus straight away. But now we need to work back to try and get them connected. Because now you can see we haven't got any connected whatsoever. So our damage is going to fall off just a little bit. But with the trappers, with the merges that we have, I can't imagine we fall off too much, to be honest. As soon as we do get them connected, though, we will be switching back on. Looking gorgeous, getting them bright orange gears into motion. And we'll be doing everything we can do. So an engineer down here at the bottom would be absolutely gorgeous. We didn't get it, unfortunately. We didn't get it there either, but we are able to clear them two middle spaces once again so that we can try and get the engineer on this bottom row. Come on. And there we go with the Harley. We're just going to have to go ahead and copy. And we do so. And we've got the Warlock coming out in about 23 seconds or so. But I do think we take the victory right now. Yes, we do. And my guy had 2,500 crit there, guys. That's exactly what we like to see. Taking him out with an extra 500 crit. Free to play versus free to play here, though. Alchemist versus Engineer. That's what we like to see. Let's jump into another one and see how we're going to be getting on, my guys. Jumping into another game then guys, we're coming up against Demon Hunter Sword this time. I hope you enjoyed that last match, make sure you are dropping a like on the video if you did and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here guys. We're just growing bigger and better every single day and why not come over and join the family? Why not my guys? But we've got a Tribunal coming out first this time so we just want to try and find a couple of engineers, try and get a couple of merges on them, try and get that shield on them my guys so Tribunal's not even going to be hitting them. And then we can try and maybe wait around, save some mana or... Maybe we can try and take him out, my guys. We'll have to wait and see. There's the first engineer. He's got that bubble on him, so he is protected. What do we do? We've got a lovely sword there with the ability on him. So let's go ahead and move those two trappers there. We're going to try and move these two here. We do get a nice dryad out of that. So if we can drop another engineer, just like that, my guys. And another couple of dryads. Oh my god, guys. This is working out absolutely perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. Look at that. We're going to get both our dryads here up to the merge three. We're going to sit here absolutely cushy, waiting for Tribunals to come out, waiting for those swords to go on my units. My guy might even be to the 10th before Tribunal comes out. That would be insane. He's on the 2 now. Maybe he's not going to be with me at the 10th before Tribunal comes out. But he's going to be looking good no matter what, guys. He's going to be looking good no matter what. Oh, oh, he's starting to send his swords over, is he? Well, we probably want to try and drop another engineer just like that so we can try and get the shields back on my guys. What is happening? The RNG is with us today, my guys. It's absolutely with us. That was absolutely perfect. Now that we're back in with the three engineers as well, I could get a couple of swords merged off. Why not? Tribunal's going to be coming out and hitting them anyway, so 
We're going to move up there and get another engineer. So he's restoring our shield once again, my guys. And they are all connected as well. This is insane. What a perfect start. What an absolutely amazing start. We're getting another engineer as well with the protection bubble on it. So he's not even going to be getting hit by a tribunal, my guys. Oh. Those trappers are not going to be getting hit because we're getting dry out, we're getting leveled up, we're going to merge our swords and hopefully he doesn't even get a hit off on us my guys, absolutely perfect. So we didn't even need to merge up them two swords at the bottom there, but I didn't want to risk losing them really guys, I might have well have used them and we're merging up for the nice merge three trapper in the corner which is absolutely insane guys, absolutely insane, so he's not going to be getting in the way of my engineer connections, he can sit there looking cushy for the rest of the game if he wants. We just want some more blue swords. We just want to get some engineers to the tent. Get them all connected. Get them looking good. We're getting another couple of levels there from the maximum talent on our engineer, which is absolutely insane, my guys. Bedlam coming out next isn't going to be doing anything to us either. We're going to be able to get moved up every which way we want to. For another move to engineer, actually. Not too bad. But his swords are coming over. We are protected by a few bubbles, but we have an engineer there that hasn't got any bubbles on it, unfortunately. And I think he is my engineer with the most swords on him as well, so we kind of want to get him protected. We kind of want to get him looking okay, to be honest. Oh, that trapper's a bit annoying. That trapper's a bit annoying. We want to be getting rid of that move one trapper if we can do, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cannot say anything bad about the RNG today, my guys, because is it? it is with us today. Six. Yes, my guy is on six. How is he only on six? We've had loads of swords go on that guy. Loads of swords on that guy. No idea, guys. No idea. That guy was on the three or the four before the first boss. How is he only on six? I don't know, my guys, but we've got some more blue swords ready to rock and roll whenever we want to. We can go ahead and get that red sword leveled up with the dryad and then move up the blue swords. Oh, we can pop in another one. For another blue sword, my guys. Oh my goodness. Absolutely perfect. Bedlam's not going to be doing anything to us. We'll rock our Jake Ford just to make sure that he doesn't. But yeah. Taken out so, so quickly there, guys. We're looking absolutely sound as a pound. The app is round. That fell on the ground. And we take these dubs every single day, don't we, guys? We're going to be taking this demon hunter down into the ground, surely. Surely, we're swording him down. He's not sent too many swords over to us, or he hasn't hit us with too many swords because we're actually protected out of our nut. But it's exactly what we like to see. My guy there is on the nine. The nine. Nine swords, baby. Let's just try and get one more on him. One more. We've got the blue sword with the ability, so we'll leave that there for now. We won't merge it off straight away. We're just going to try and get him kicking. Try and get that last sword on my guy in the center. And then we'll have one to the ten. And then with that one to the ten. Oh, another one on the ability. Absolutely lovely. We might end up getting that one merged off, though, to be honest, my guy. But... Like I was just about to say, with even one engineer on the 10, you're going to be see seeing the absolute difference in crits. The absolute difference in damage that we can cause. And we're getting another move for engineer there with full up on dry ads. Which is not particularly what I'm looking for, to be honest. I'd like a little move one blue sword. And something that I can get moved off my guy, so I can try and get my guy to the 10. We're so close. Getting that guy to the 5. That guy to the 7. We're so, so close. It's unbelievable. Look at the crits. Look at the damage that we are creating already. And Grandmaster coming out isn't going to do anything to us. He's not going to move anybody. He's so busy, really. Let's get real. He's getting taken out so, so quick. And that Technogenic Society speed boost is absolutely beautiful. 10% for the engineer this week. We've only got the one Technogenic Society unit in here, so it is only that 10% boost. But if we have more, which we have like the Bombardier, and maybe a couple other Technogenic Society units, we'd be looking even better. But we don't, unfortunately, and we did merge up for another move to engineer there, so we're not looking too bad. We're going to get that dry head over here on this engineer, and we're looking absolutely sound as a pound. You can come out and hit my trapper all you want, just don't hit any man, use the engineers. And there we go, look at that for a board, look at that, we cannot complain of that. We've got a board full of engineers, we've got the optimization talent, we've got a juicy trapper, two blue swords with the ability on them, so they are going to be skewing out swords. Getting my guy to the 10, there we go! But no, he's going to be getting all my engineers to the 10 every 15 seconds, so we can't complain about that. Ouch, them swords are hurting. Hurting, my guys, and we didn't really want to have to do that, but we did go ahead and do that just to make sure that we are keeping our shields. We've got a bedroom coming out now. I don't think that he gets a hit off on us, but even if we were to get a hit off on us, we have our shield, and 
Jake Pauly Wally was a little bit late to the party there. Bentham had already gone. And my guy got the flip as well. No! No way! No way! How has he just got merged up so nicely though? Fair play to him. He doesn't look bad after a Bentham flip at all, to be honest. Unfortunately, he's lost all his swords, but looking like that after a Bentham flip is absolutely insane. We've moved our two blue swords, guys, and we've got our guy to the nine down there. To the nine! And we're not able to get into the 10, unfortunately, but we moved them up because we are guaranteed the dub now, aren't we? Surely after that one, we're guaranteed the win. And there we go. 30 seconds to go till the next boss. And he had more crit than us again, my guys. Only about 100 this time, though. But still, we've taken them all out today, my guys. Taking all the high critters out. That's what we like to see. Let's jump into another one. Another one with the engineer. Why not? Ooh. Coming up against Max Alchemist again, my guys, with the level 13 grindstone and at least the level 9 dry out there. He's rocking his chemist, he's rocking his strapper. So he's getting plenty of speed boost from the Technogenic Society faction blessing this week. 10% for every unit in his deck. So he's got the 1, 2, 3, and 4 from the Technogenic Society faction. So he's getting an extra 40% speed boost on his alchemist there. That's absolutely insane. He's going to be doing the work. He's going to be doing the business, my guys. We want to be making sure that we're getting set up absolutely lovely. And I think we're going to be able to. We've got plenty of Harley Quinns on the board. So we're going to get all of them swords copied right on over as soon as we are able to get rid of that move one trapper. Try and get rid of that as soon as possible. And we'll be looking absolutely sound as a pound. Absolutely pushed you, my guys. Gorgon's not going to be doing anything to us. Not today. There we go. Let's get it going. There we go. And we can level up a sword, actually, with that last dryad, I think. Oh, we got an engineer there, giving us the four. So we get them two merged up for another merged two sword, unfortunately. Or it is another merged two Harley Quinn. It will be a sword, shall I say. And we're dropping our third engineer there. So that's not too bad. We're back in, back in here with a merge. Back in here with a three engineers. The merge three? We have got a merge three, but we're back in here with the three, shall I say. And we only got two blue swords out of all of that. Well, one blue sword, because we already have one on the board. That was ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. But we are in here now with the four engineers. None of them connected, unfortunately. Gorgon is coming out now. Another engineer. All right. We're back in with a three. That's nice. It's kicking in. Lovely jubbly there. We are taking Gorgon out before he does anything to us. But what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? We need to be getting rid of that Merge 1 Trapper and then we need to be trying to work on... There we go, we can get rid of the Merge 1 Trapper. But we need to be trying to work on them swords, my guys. We need to get my engineers to the 10 swords. They're both only on one. One? Oh, we've only had the one blue sword go out, that's why. We've only had the one blue sword. We've had no good blue sword on our RNG, but we have been able to get another one there. We've got another blue sword that's actually got the ability on it there, so we can't complain of that. And another one copied there, so... Alright, we're looking alright now. We're looking alright. We're starting to get a few swords on things. We're not looking so bad. Alright, we've got a red sword there with the ability on it as well, so he's going to be doing work for us. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. We need to try and get rid of that move one trapper as soon as possible. And we're coming in with a move one dryer. Probably level up a couple of swords. And there we go with the move three dryads. Not too bad there. Not too bad. Able to get rid of that Harley Quinn. So we can't really complain about that, my guys. We are back in there with the damage. Opening up the tiles to get them connections. Alright then, we're looking good, we're looking good. Puppeteer coming out in about 35 seconds as well, so we shouldn't really be too bothered about him. And we just moved up there for another move to engineer, and we're at the 12% damage increase now as well. So we're looking good. We just need to try and get our engineers connected, my guys. And as soon as they get connected, the better, because we get better damage. But we're struggling a little bit at the minute, my guys. We're struggling a little bit at the minute. I mean, like, Puppeteer's not going to be doing anything too much. He can move about and do what he wants, but we really, we really don't care about formation that much in this sort of deck, so hopefully we're not going to be bothered by him too much. We're building up a lot more than he is at the minute, which is unfortunate. Keeping the profile very well, actually. Oh, he did get the move off on us. Oh, and he, that did annoy us quite badly, actually. Took away all my engineers that were connected. That's not good. That's not good. Look at all these golems he's sending through as well. Jeez. These golems get hefty quickly as well, my guys. So we do need to be getting that connection as soon as possible. Oh, I can't believe he's doing it to us. I can't believe he's doing it to us. 
probably level up this engineer up here in the corner just so we can try and open up the tile next to him. And then hopefully if we drop an engineer there, it's just one more that is going to be connected. That's my logic. That's my logic now. Because our board is filling it up and we're not getting any engineers. We're not getting any engineers right now. And we've got another Pimpertay coming out. I suppose it's not too bad. We're going to get rid of them blue swords. I know we shouldn't get rid of the blue swords. It's got the ability on it. But we need an engineer there, guys. We really need the good RNG right back here now. Come on. Come on, game. Yes. Yes, my guys. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This one's a little bit tense, my guys. This one's a little bit tense. Sorry for the little laugh and commentary. But I need it to concentrate. I need it to try and get my units looking as good as possible. Still not any at the 10. And we've just come in with a military sword. Of course we have. At least we've got the 6 connected, my guys. So the damage has been increased a little bit. But he's moving us again. And he's disconnecting us again. Puppeteer. Puppeteer. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Up the engineer with that just so we can try and get it out of the way. Free up that middle tile because we really need an engineer there, guys. Really, de really desperately, guys. Come on, please drop me an engineer there. Don't need the dryads, it's not what I'm looking for. We've got another blue sword, but it's got the abilities. We're gonna merge up here. We do get the merge for Harley Quinn, so let's get that engineer copied. And now we're looking good, baby. That gives us a 10 as well, doesn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, just double checking that I counted that correctly. So we are, we're on the 11 now. We've got the one merge three trap, but we've got the one merge one blue sword with the ability. So he's going to spew out swords every which way he can do. Hopefully get us one on the 10 as soon as we can do. And then we'll be looking even better, guys. We'll hopefully start pulling our way back a little bit better. Gorgon shouldn't be doing too much to us. We should be able to rock our Jake Paul take off pretty swiftly. Pretty swiftly. We do. We do. So that's what I mean. We take three mil out pretty quickly. He only just got a cover up on us, so. The damage is there now, my guys. The damage is there. We just need to try and get a few to the ten swords. We'd be looking so much better if we had a few of the ten swords. But we just needed to get merged up a little bit quickly. Hey! That's just giving us ten. That's what we like to see, baby. Alright, let's try and get a few more to the 10, please. Thank you very much. We're a bit bored locked now. We're a bit bored locked. Alright, my guy down there is on the 8. He's only gone ahead and hit my guy on the 10 swords. That Charmin Slug, the Charmin Lion. How? How is he hitting my guy on the 10 swords? Can somebody please let me know? He's the other far end of the... How on earth has the Alchemist hit him as well? Everyone is hitting my Mirage 10, or my Mirage 3 with the 10 sword, sorry. Everyone's out to get him. Everyone knows the damage that he can do, my guys. No one wants to feel his wrath. But his golems are really coming through at some decent HP now. That's a million in there, isn't it? It's like a little another mini boss coming out. It's ruthless. Ruthless, my guy. But we've got a fair few decent amount of trappers. We've got the 10 optimization. Got the move off on me, but he keeps me connected, so we can't really complain about that. Are we ever going to take him out? Thank you. Look, look at the health on his golems now. Four mil. Four mil. Oh, we're going into double bosses. Kitsune and Assassin, baby. Surely we can both make it through to double bosses. This is a good game, my guys. And this is Max Alchemist versus Max Engineer. Free to play. Battle it out. It's absolutely insane, guys. Absolutely insane. But look at the damage. Look at the crits that we're getting. 317k. Hopefully we can hurry up and take this Vortex out. We can do. That's what we like to see. Oh, and his Golem is doing work as well to his mini bosses, his waves. He's actually taking things out really well with their Golems and they're overrunning me massively. We need to be taking them out quicker than that. No way. No way are we getting overmerged here, my guys. We're getting overrun. Outrun, overmerged. The golems are coming out thick and fast. Heavy, high HP. What are we doing? No way. We're going to take the loss here, guys. We're not even going to be able to last the last five seconds to make it through. 
three, two, no, what, no way, oh my, my guy did have another 400 crit than us, but still, fair play to my guy, he had the 40% extra speed, he had the extra crit than us, 159 million damage is still a good game, a good, good game guys, make sure you're dropping a like on the video for that one, Make sure you're subscribing to the channel if you are new around here, guys. I know I've said it all in the video, but I'd just let you all know again. There is a little notification bell that you can hit if you do want to be notified of all my videos when they do go live. I'm trying to get a decent streaming schedule up and going as well, guys. But for now, I am going to love you and leave you. This has been your boy, Cedric. Make sure you're having a good day, and peace.